Shalom. 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 First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rekakwadash. I'd like to give a Shalom. Salutations and double honors to all the elders, apostles, and the bishops of the Great Millstone. Okay. I'd like to give a double Shalom, double honors, and double salutations to the 144. Okay, the hopeful elect scattered throughout the earth, wherever you may be. Okay, and I like to give a shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there who believe in this knowledge, this truth, this understanding. Okay, searching the scriptures, trying to find out what is required of you by Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Okay, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, which means He to be or He exists. Okay which the world ignorantly think his name is God or Lord, okay? And the beloved heavenly son, Yahweh Shai, okay? Who, who name means he the savior, he the deliverer, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? This is your brother, Yahweh Shai, okay? GMS St. Louis, back at you with another lesson in sincerity and truth and through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Just kind of going through some things and you know the Heavenly Father, you know, he says, you know, Salakia. The Heavenly Father says, you know, love everyone as I have loved you. Okay. And we know that the love of you know Yahweh Shah said love everybody as I as I have loved you Salakia okay and Yahweh Shai went through all the, the the while he was here on the earth you know telling everybody about the gospel okay and we all know if you read the gospel Yahweh Shai I mean he was he was cold with it like he you know compares it to a, a samurai and a, and a sword he was the ultimate samurai okay he, he could cut you without even taking the sword out the sheath, okay? Because he would, he would either ask you a question, okay? Or he'll make a statement in regards to the scriptures. He would say, well, isn't it written, okay? And people, sometimes they were dumbfounded or confounded because they couldn't either answer the question, okay? Or, or they couldn't get around it, okay? And, and, and the same thing goes... OK, well, some of these these people out here who don't get it. OK. OK, especially you, you, you hard headed in dubs. OK, the Heavenly Father is not with no strong, black, independent woman. He's just not. He's not with that. OK. And we all know that, you know, us in this knowledge, this, this truth, this true understanding. OK. That the more you increase in knowledge, okay, the more sorrow you sorrowful you become, okay, because you 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 already know how it's gonna play out. The scriptures don't miss Habakkuk two and two, okay. But let's let's get that Salakia. Let's get that. Okay, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, okay. Ecclesi I'm sorry, Ecclesiastes. Baba Kusha Salakia. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 1, starting at the 17th verse. And it says, And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that this is also, I'm sorry, I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. Okay? OK, and how do you uh, 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 learn wisdom? OK, through the scriptures. OK, through the gospel. OK, because the Bible is the ultimate playbook. OK, going on to verse 18, it says, for in so much wisdom is great grief. OK. Not grief in, in learning, but grief in knowing the outcome, how things are going to be. OK, because. It could be your family, your mother, brother, sister, cousin, daddy, you know, auntie, uncle, you know, somebody that you care for, 
that still want to con continue in this folly and madness. OK, and you have love for that person. So you try to tell them what is right through the uh, law, statutes and commandments, which give life. OK, OK. For in much wisdom is grief and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. OK. OK, it's not the learning part that increases sorrow. OK, but it's just knowing that. You know, it's people that you love or people that you care about that consistently abuse their grace period, the law, statutes, and commandments, okay? And that's going into second Ezra 9, okay? As a matter of fact, let's get it. Salakia. Okay. Uh, Salakia, bear, bear with me. Okay, yeah, Second Ezra is nine and nine. Okay. Then shall they be in pitiful case now, which have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such as in their lives have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them and understood not, but despised it. Right. You independent black women. OK, because the heavenly father say, you know, he would rather that the young men, women marry. OK, let's get that. Salakia. We was just there. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. First Timothy 5 and 14, right? What does it say? I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Right. How do you give? Uh, the adversary room to speak reproachfully. I don't need no man. Okay. And then when you post the statistics that black so-called black woman is the least desirable because of their attitude. Okay. They don't want to validate those statistics. Okay. And the statistics are validated. You women, you black women, so-called black women, are the least desirable. Esau going to post that. He going to tell the truth about that. Because why? He's proud. He's proud of how he worked on your mind. Okay? Esau Edom is proud how he's defeated you. And, and yet, you, you hard-headed women continue to play the game. Okay? You continue to fall into those traps. You continue to bite the apple. Okay. And what, what is what is there to gain from it? Okay. Now don't get me wrong, brothers, bro, you know, wicked, wicked, wicked men be off uh, off the chain, you know, uh, uh diving in homosexuality and things of that nature, you know, being simps. Okay? But even still, when, when a man gets his wits about him and, and, and follow these law, statutes, and commandments, you wicked women still got something to say. Okay? You don't know what you want. Like, like Elder Pastor the Hall and all the elders say, stay away from these fucking wildebeests. These wicked so-called black women. These strong, independent, wicked black women. And that's why I can't wait. I can't wait till you have Bashim Yahusha close the book and seal the mouth of the prophets. You, 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 you wicked women gonna learn the hard way. You are. I, I listen, I ain't got nothing to prove, okay? I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Say, thus saith the Lord, okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. 
Okay? I ain't, I ain't got to say no more. I'll let you find out on your own what the Titus 3, 10, and 11 say. After the first and second ammunition, reject. Okay? That knocked the dust off my feet and keep going. I, I done did my thing. I did what I supposed to do. Okay? Okay? Let's get another one. Uh, Second Samuel. What is this? Second Samuel. Uh, seven. Uh, what does that say? Uh, ah, uh, 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 Salakia. Salakia, Baba Kusha. Bear with me. Yeah, let's get it. First Samuel fifteen twenty three. I was, I was off. Or try to commit them to memory. So like your First Samuel fifteen twenty three. What that say? Okay, it says for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness. Is as iniquity and idolatry because thou has rejected the word of the Lord Yahweh, he has also rejected thee from being king. Okay, and who are you rebellious against? The prophets, okay, the people that say before, because that's what prophet means, your husband. Because according to Genesis 3 and 16, your husband ruled over you. Well, that's the Old Testament. Okay, let's go to the New Testament. 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Okay? Don't just sit there and go back and forth. Reread it. That's why we give you the address. That's why we bring out the scriptures. Okay? I'm not going to it, but go there and read it for yourself. 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Okay, Genesis 3 and 16, okay, and any other, uh, 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 where, where else, uh, 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 Salakia, where's that other one I read the other day, uh, oh, Ecclesiastes 7, Ecclesiastes 7, 26 through 29. Man was made upright. Not you women. Okay? That's why the Heavenly Father deal with men. Okay? But rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Okay? You understand the heavenly order. Man rule over you women. Okay? You rebel against your man. That's a sin. Okay? Especially... If the man, now I'm not saying if you, if he tell you to do something wicked and you don't do it, but I'm just saying a, a, a man that's giving you uh, something to do around the household that's going to up, up, uphold the family, okay? Okay? Because the scriptures say a woman, a, a, a man that getteth a wife getteth a possession, okay? Uh, help me as himself, okay? Roughly paraphrase it. Salakia, if I butcher butcher it, okay. But just on on general principle, the man telling you to do something and it's not wicked, and, and you got all this lip, you a strong black independent woman, okay. Yeah, how about Shim Yahusha gonna put a foot between your two back pockets, okay? And I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord Yahweh. He has also rejected thee from being king. Okay? Okay? All you people listen to the videos, you women, 
Don't don't be a strong black independent woman. That's the wrong mindset to be in. Okay? Because we just read it. Uh, 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 1 Timothy 5 and 14 is that the younger women shall marry. And if you marry, your husband is over you. Okay? Okay? And I'm not talking about marry as in going to the justice of the peace or going to see that man with the black collar with the white strip on his throat. Okay? That's not what I'm talking about. Okay? Because marriage in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, okay, is, is being under one man. Okay? Having... Have been physically connected to a man, one man for you women. Okay. Okay. So hopefully, you 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 uh, brothers and sisters have been edified. Okay. This is your brother Howard Shy. Okay, GMS St. Louis. Until the next one, Kwame Allah and Shalom, Shalom.